Where should we put his leaves? Maybe right here? What do you think? Is that where his leaf should go? That's pretty cool, huh? Your leaf used to be on there, now I have it at home. Right here. Right here. Just put it right here. See, it says Levi James, 5'4", 18, 7 pounds, 1 and a half ounces. Mommy. Isn't that pretty cool? Mommy. You used to have a leaf on here too. Where is my leaf? Well, it's not on here anymore because you've gotten so big. You can't keep them all on there. Hey guys, I'm coming in for a day in the life again this week, as well as Levi's two week update. He was born on Friday the 4th, and uh, today is Friday the 18th. So he is two weeks old today, and he is doing amazingly. He's just relaxing. Oh, you're awake over there. I thought you were dead asleep, child. But you got your eyes open. He just ate a whole bunch. It is, let's see, 9 a.m. You see my pretty quilt behind me on the chair. I have that from Susie. I love it. It goes so perfectly in this room with the baby. Anyways, um, so today is the 18th and we are doing great. We're not going anywhere today as far as I know unless something comes up. Uh, we had park day yesterday and we um, did our grocery shopping the day before that, so we need a day at home. So we're just going to be relaxing here. Mom. Yes, Renee? Um, uh, I can open Mom and is Dad done? Yeah, Dad's already at work, yeah. He's um. reciting. He's reciting an apartment building. He's got lots of work to do, you know? Uh, I need how to... Open the door, door that and then maybe to do the picnic outside. Oh, you need. To, oh, I didn't know you were going to do the picnic outside. Um, yeah. Can you ask Talia to help you open the door to get your boots? Thank you. It's so nice having big sisters that are able to help with little things like that, like opening doors and getting snacks and stuff when I'm busy snuggling a baby. So as far as an update for baby Levi, he um, is growing great. He went in a few days ago for his um, our first postpartum visit at the birth center and he got weighed and he was seven pounds, four ounces, four and a half ounces. And he was seven pounds, one and a half ounces when he was born. So that put him three ounces over his birth weight by a week and a half old, which is really good. They say they want him to be back up to birth weight by two weeks, so he is ahead of schedule there. So that's great. I have been weighing him at home too. Um, I have a, I use my kitchen scale and I put him in a little basket and put it on, put him on there. And um, yesterday I weighed him and he was already up to seven pounds six ounces. Um, so he's he's just growing, growing like a weed and getting so big already. And then his sleep, he's been doing really well with sleep. There were three days right around Mother's Day where he slept, um, or three nights I should say, where he slept four hours and got up once and then four more hours, which was amazing because that's just him getting up once in my eight hours of sleep. Um, and that lasted for about three days and then um, the last few nights he has been getting up twice at night which is still not too bad so he's sleeping about three hours uh, at a time if we can get him back to sleeping those four hour chunks that would be nice but we'll see how that goes um, so he I put him down around 9 30 ish and then he'll sleep until about 12 30 sometimes till 1 30 and then I'll feed him and put him back down and then he'll sleep again until like 3.30 or 4 and I'll feed him, put him back down and then he'll sleep again. 
So that's the way it's been the last few nights, but it's always changing at this age. So we're just going with the flow. And so far it's not bad. Getting up twice at night um, is not terrible. And he's really great about going right back to sleep. Uh, so I just have to feed him, put him right back down in his bed and he is out. So I'm getting a solid, you know, two and a half to three hour chunks of sleep, which um, is fine for me. So I'm doing good with energy and with sleep and just feeling really good. You trying to get your thumb? Keep working at it. It's right there. You can do it. You can do it, big man. Oh, I love your snuggles. They're so nice. So the big girls already finished their breakfast and they are working on their school schoolwork right now. And um, the only thing I have on the agenda for them special today is I'm going to try to film the um, part two of the baby shower because I still have a bin of presents to open for baby Levi and some for the girls. So I really want to get that done. I was planning on doing it a few days ago and it just didn't happen but we don't have anything else going on today so hopefully I can get that done um, so that's not going to be in this video but I will put out a separate video hopefully in the next day or two uh, with all of our fun baby shower present opening that you guys sent oh my what are you talking about what are you talking about Oh, so tired. All right, that is all I can think of for updates for baby Levi right now. If I think of something else, I will add it to this video and I will just bring you along throughout the day and show you what's going on in our house with our two week old baby Levi. He's having more and more awake, happy time. As this week has gone on, he just looks around at everything, studies everything. And then as soon as Poe licked your nose a lot of times. Did you have something on your nose? Come over here. Like peanut butter? No. No? What did you have on your nose? That's something from Poe's tongue. Oh, just like saliva? Yeah. Spit from Poe's tongue? Yeah. That's silly. That Poe. He's so funny to you. He was living. Oh. Anyways, so he likes to sit and study things and look at everything. And then as soon as he's decided that he's hungry or overtired, he gets fussy. So he goes from this to super fussy really fast, but it's only when he needs something. When he it's been too long since he's eaten or if I know he's overtired. But normally, he's just happy to sit look at things, look at his sisters, study what's going on. I can see that his face is starting to fill out a little bit. It's getting a little double chin down here. The boy definitely knows how to eat. I also noticed that this ear, when he was born, it was just plastered down to the side of his head from being squished in the womb. And it's still a little bit, but it's popping out more and more every day. The skin's so big. Still hard to tell what color his eyes are. They're still kind of that bluish, grayish, dark color. We're waiting to see. It could go any direction at this point. We have blue eyes, brown eyes, and hazel eyes in our family here. So they, it could really be anything. All right, you. I'm going to go take my shower. You keep your sisters company while they're doing their schoolwork, okay? Okay? And don't fuss, that'll distract them. They'll have to rush over and take care of you if you start fussing, you know that. And then you get their schoolwork done, okay? Say, okay, mom. Getting your schoolwork done? Yep. All right, good job. It is time for my breakfast. Levi had his and the girls had theirs. Now it's finally time for mine. I'm having the second half of this crustless quiche frittata from the full, full Belly Fair delivery that I got. It's really good, it's got turkey and spinach. You're gonna let me eat, aren't you, baby Levi? 
And then I made some grain-free banana bread in my Instant Pot yesterday. I'm gonna have some of that with it. I used um, cassava flour, which is this right here, which is delicious. This little hobbit wants his second breakfast, but I'm gonna try to get my first breakfast in before he has to eat his second breakfast. Can you let me eat? You're gonna fall asleep now? Let's see how you are. There's my delicious breakfast. Lunch time. We finished our baby shower video, which will be coming out soon. And uh, baby Levi's down for his nap. He was up a lot this morning, had a lot of awake time. And now he's sleeping. And we're gonna finish up lunch and then Renee's gonna take her nap and we're gonna have a quiet afternoon. The girls mostly finished their schoolwork and they'll be using their credits this afternoon that they earned from schoolwork and chores for time on the PlayStation or a movie or something like that. Movie. Oh, you wanna do a movie, huh? You're gonna take a nap, <laughs> you little stinker. You gotta get your rest. I like movie first. <laughs> you do, huh? Yeah. Well, maybe you can watch some movie when you wake up, okay? Okay? Uh, yeah. All right, I didn't think we were gonna have to go anywhere today, but um, it turns out my husband is having to work through the weekend because he's ha he has a big job that he's needing to get finished, reciting a little apartment building, and um, he's working, he's gonna work late tonight. So we are actually gonna bring him dinner and sit and have dinner with him so that we get to at least spend a little time with him uh, today. Today is Saturday, no, today is Friday. <laughs> Today is Friday, but we um, wanted to spend a little time with him and bring him some dinner since he has to work so late. So that is where we are headed right now. All right, this is the apartment complex that Daddy is working on. Let's go find him. I think he's sitting over there at the um, picnic tables. Are you gonna dip it? Oh no. Alright, follow me. Me. So I did all of this. I sided this whole area right here by myself. Yesterday in like you're videoing me? Oh yeah. <laughs> I sided that whole area by myself and took me about a little less than an hour. That's impressive. I can do it. And as per the front design, we divided the back into all these sections. Oh, yeah. It makes some things harder, but it makes a little more things easier. So I have that little tiny section I saved because I was going to just make it out of the ends and pieces that didn't make the bigger pieces. Mm -hmm. So what I did is I'm a, I had my big chop saw set up out there, and I would just pre-cut stacks of boards for the size of the section and stack them. So there were stacks on the ground all along here. And then, I, and then I got pretty nice set up and I bought that second nail gun, you know. And the two of us would just work our way down. Just I don't do Nice. How's it going? These little holes. And the reason that there's one left on a lot of these stacks or two is because this <coughs> one needs to be cut thinner. There and for here. And Mom, this. I need another one up there, but when I was making these stacks quickly, if I only had enough material to make eight, I just stopped at eight rather than making nine. This is gonna be a detail I gotta do at the end. So all the details I have left are these little things. And then this, we just cut these from the wall and I gotta like caulk and secure that. Oh yeah. And I gotta go inside each unit and put the grill back on. That's gonna be annoying. And then when I, before I paint, I have to run caulk lines down every single one of these verticals. Mm -hmm. Which is gonna be miles of it all around this thing. And this was tight up against the wall. I had to use a big crowbar to bend it out and slide up. To get these first two pieces down there was really hard. A crowbar laying on my side, pulling this pipe out and get those two slid down in their spot. Yikes. Okay. We did all of this. Just the same thing over and over and over and over. Mm -hmm.
What's the matter? I hurt my leg. You hurt your leg? Dad, can I eat some food? We just ate with Daddy, remember? I'm still hungry. No, you said you were so full just a few minutes ago. I don't think you're hungry. Remember you were gonna watch, um, you were gonna watch Spirit, well, the, the, the show. Spirit. Did you wanna watch Spirit before you go to bed? Yeah. Yeah? Wait, no. I'm sorry, your leg hurts. So we gotta clean up, gotta clean up the living room before we watch the show, okay? Can you help, can you help your sisters clean up the living room? And I'm gonna get baby Levi out of his seat. He yeah. slept the whole time, it was so nice. All right, go clean up the living room towel. There's lots of there's lots of clutter, and you guys left your shoes out. You need to put your shoes away, please. Thank you. Oh, baby Levi's ready to eat again. I think. Good job, Levi. Waiting for for eating time. He's got his his seven dwarfs hat. It's his dopey hat. Doesn't he look like dopey from the seven dwarfs? No, you don't know what dopey looks like. Yeah. I think he looks like Dopey, but it's pretty cute. Alright, we'll get you out of this thing.